How to spot when an EPA test needs more water, when it's thirsty? So today we will discuss about the visual effect on the leaves and the effects on the pitcher for later. So coming up. Hi, if you are new to my channel, my name is Remy and I've been growing carnivorous plants since I'm 16. I've been focusing on windowsill nepon tests since I moved to Canada. This month I spot uh, something that uh, people think it's a problem for uh, beginners, but uh, it can really happen to every kind of person, of grower, uh, when you not forget to water a plant, because I never forget, but uh, when there is not enough water. So for example, for me, it was the, the leaves that were so uh, big and uh, protecting the substrate that the water was never reaching the, the substrate. And then slowly but surely it starts draining out. So today I will show you what it looks like and uh, you'll see what I mean by uh, thirsty. Okay, so here is uh, the plant. Uh, as you see, it's thirsty, the, the leaf is uh, flappy and uh, kind of a folding. Uh, we can see some kind of vein along the, the leaf, this line. Uh, yeah, even if uh, I water it again, this line will stay on the leaf. Uh, it's kind of a, some scar and this one is the same. So really, uh, yeah, you can tell it's thirsty when uh, you see the line and it's flappy. And even the new growth, it's just some caoutchouc thing. It's so, so flappy. So now I will uh, water it uh, heavily, let the pot uh, sit into water and drink everything it can. And uh, we'll see. I'm kind of concerned about the pitcher. Uh, there is uh, the old pitcher here. Uh, it still looks good, so hopefully it will stay this way, I mean. But there is also another one on the back that was about to open uh, and a new one uh, like that is growing. So uh, again, I hope I won't lose too much pitcher. Okay, so it's been 24 hours into water, so now the leaves is better. It's kind of unfolding slightly. Uh, the leaves looks thicker and the new leaf uh, is uh, booting back nicely. Uh, so that's uh, really good. Oh, and tonight the, the pitcher just opened, so that's uh, really cool. I, I was afraid he it just die, uh, so it's good. It's safe now. So now uh, everything should be okay. We only have to repot. Okay, how this happened? It's uh, the healthy leaves that were covering the whole substrates, and uh, it was exactly like this Gaia. Look at what happened when I water the plant. The leaves act like an umbrella, protecting the substrate from being moist. So this one also, I will have to repot and cut the leaves. And look at that under the leaves. Do you see that? Let's look at what is under this big leaf. Okay, we have a basil shoot. So we will have to repot and cut this basil because clearly it's not getting any light from the top, any water, so that's going to be for next week video. Okay, now let's repot the other plant. Okay, so why this plant dry out? Uh, because uh, I've been growing it for a few years and everything was okay. Um, first, ah, okay, the pitcher fall and now that's disgusting, it's okay. It happened like this gooey, juicy. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's do that. So, as I was saying, uh, first, the pot, you can tell it's really small. Um, it's definitely outgrown the pot and all the roots are taking much space than the sphagnum. So now the, the water retention is really low and it will dry out quickly. The second part is, I don't know if you see that. Okay, let's get rid of the tag here. All the leaves, the old leaves, were still green. So I let them uh, stay because they were getting some, um, some nutrient from the light, some energy from the light, but uh, then it was kind of a protecting the substrate to, to receive directly the water when I was watering from the top. Uh, and that's exactly the problem. I was watering, but then all the water was bouncing back from the leaves and um, some water was coming inside, but all the sphagnum was bone dry. And that's exactly what uh, made, made these plants uh, thirsty. So uh, first, I should have uh, reported that a long time ago. Uh, so now I will report definitely and I will use way bigger as you see. So uh, it will be uh, way better, more sphagnum, more substrates. And uh, I also cut all the old leaves that were directly protecting uh, the substrate to be moist. Uh, they were still green, but uh, at some point I have to choose between the big healthy leaves or the small old one. And the old one was something like a year or two old. It's, it lasts forever. So uh, I had to do something. So now I will uh, report and, uh, and yes, uh, is there a best time to report the plants? No, only when the plants need it. Uh, it's not like you have to report for by spring or fall or summer. No, not like that. Uh, it, the plant don't care. Uh, but remember, when you report, if you disturb too much the roots, you will lose all the pictures. And this one just pop tonight. Uh, so I don't want to lose it. So I, and as the substrate uh, is good, good enough. Uh, it's two years old, uh, but really well drained and uh, and uh, getting dry between uh, all the, um, the watering. So the, the substrate is good, I'm almost sure. So I will just repot it, but unplug it and plug it inside the new pot and just fill with um, substrate around. So the roots should not be disturbed. Maybe when I would pull it out, I would see some roots coming from the bottom of the pot and that's what I will take care of. But uh, beside that, if I just unplug, replug, uh, you should be uh, just uh, great for the, the picture. No, no trauma and everything should be okay. Okay, so regular media here. Uh, mostly perlite sphagnum as you know, it's exactly what I always use. So I will just take the stick out. I will probably reuse it. Um, and I will just unplug this whole thing. So again, Squeeze slightly and pull it gently. Okay. Okay, that's exactly what I thought. Look at the roots. And take as much water out as you can.
Okay, good enough. And make it fluffy. Don't put everything compact. So here should be okay. I really hope everything will be fine, will be okay with the new picture, but if not, well, it's not like it's the last one of the season. So, not a real problem. And if you want to use a stick, put it at the very beginning and then Feel everything around, but don't stick the the stick uh, at the very last minute, uh, uh, risking uh, to crush the um, the roots. Okay, I will speed up the video for you. While I do that, uh, I would like to ask you a favor. Could you please like this video and consider subscribing, hitting the little bell? Thank you. Okay, so now. Uh, this is the new pot, so way more space, like sphagnum, everything is uh, fresh. And uh, I would probably cut this leaf too, because that could prevent the water to go directly through the substrate. And uh, we will see how the pictures uh, go uh, in 10 days. Okay, it's been 10 days. Uh, uh, without surprise, this picture uh, dry out because again the plant was uh, into shock. This one kind of a pose uh, for me that means it's dead and the new one is really good and soft so I think I will have skipped two pictures. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have techniques to spot when an epontes is uh, thirsty, maybe earlier than me so it's uh, uh, avoid the picture lost or picture skip uh, for later like uh, yeah if you have a technique feel free to share that in the comments and uh, hopefully uh, it will help everyone so until next time happy growing